What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about something pretty cool that's on the market now. Um, I've been fortunate enough to test this product out for the past couple of weeks, coming up on a month and a few weeks. This is the h -Wish Air Night Vision Scope that's the Twilight Rifle Scope. Something unique about this is this scope doesn't use IR light at all. It's, it's scope based on color technology it uses AI technology to produce full color at night there's no artificial light so technically you will not need your um, spotlight permit if your states require that so let's let's just dive into it when you first get this package it comes with a hard lock box completely soft case insulated and it comes with your manual, your scope cover for daylight use. It comes with your all the tools you need to mount this scope. It comes with scope mounts as well, about an inch and a half risers because this is a bulky scope here, so you're going to need it well above your barrel so you can get the most out of it. Um, yep, scope comes packed in here. Here's a look inside the box. We're going to dive into some details about this because this is one of the first videos up on the scope. The whole thermal and night vision community, they haven't really dove into this product since it's so fresh into the market. So this might be one of the few videos that you will see on YouTube or any other platforms, Facebook. I'm really trying to promote this because it's it's such a great product, but there's not much information on the internet about it. So right now I have it mounted on my 17 HMR Savage. I had it on my FX air gun scope for a long time. I just switched over to target coyotes, foxes, some bigger prey animals. I was using it for rabbits and pigeons and other birds for my pellet gun. So let's, let's dive into the specs real quick about this. The, one of the greatest features I like about this is the 600 meter range on this laser rangefinder. So that's like a big deal when you're hunting at night. You want to be able to range find these animals. Which that's what I think sets this product apart is both the, the rangefinder and the ability to have full color night vision at night without producing any artificial light. This could really be used in advantage to exotic hunts like Texas, high fenced hunts, where you're looking at animals and looking for horn or antler size. That's where this would come in key because it gives you full vision at night. You got your, your um, magnification right here. This particular model is 6912 so that's your different magnification bases it sits at 6 when you first turn it on it's got your focus right here and then your eye adapter right here so you adjust that to your eye it works good and you can see your electronics on the inside because it's fully electronic scope power on hold it for 6 9 seconds let go laser turns on here oh see that Got the laser on my decoy right there. Hold it for six to nine seconds. And then it starts powering on in there. And then, I'll just give you guys a close up real quick. So there's your range finder, or not range finder, there's your magnification adjustment. This right here is your port. You just, I just tighten it with my fingers. I'm sure some people want it a lot tighter than that. But your SD card sits in there and your power, your charging power right there. 
is the same charger as any Samsung phones on the market right now. It comes with an SD card, 64 gigabyte. And this scope has the capability of videos and photos, high quality videos and photos. It's, I'll put up a spec chart right about now in the video. All right, first off, it's telling you about your magnification, your digital zoom, I kind of covered all that. There's your aperture, your pupil distance. Uh, then it tells you about the full color and day. So basically, you're going to be seeing the same color at night as you are going to be during the day. This is possible through their AI chip that turns darkness into color pretty much. I'll have some examples later on in the video. Your video output has a 1920 by 1080 resolution OLED, which is remarkably high. This... This allows for high resolution pictures, images, and videos. It tells you about your tells you about your um, imager output, high sensitivity sensor, your size, resolution, and then the last one on this page is talking about the different reticles. I believe it shows five options, and there's red, green, blue, and black. I believe. There's also an option for a mil dot reticle, which will help you shoot out to range. One of my videos shows an example of that. Moving on to the next page, there's a lot taken here. It tells you about your rangefinder and provided micro SD card, your hardware buttons. These are the buttons you use to navigate through your screen. So basically, you're going to push these buttons to record and uh, help sight in your scope and all the other operations needed. It tells you about your operation, your power, your system, size, and the package. It tells you what comes in this package and all the supplies you are given. First look at it. Here's your zoom in, zoom out, your USB port and card. Just unscrew that. Up, down, left, right, OK button, power button. You hold that down for about six seconds to turn it on. Hold it down until it turns off. Your focus. Your eye relief. Your mounts. I believe they're Picatinny. Don't quote me. You should have a good idea what they are. <laughs> your rangefinder. She comes with a laser, so you go out to 100 yards, put it on your target, you can see the laser, and you move a white box to cover the laser, and then it's calibrated. But, let's, here's your scope cover. Let's move into some pictures and videos of this in action. This first video goes by pretty quick, but this is at night, completely dark out, showing the full you know, picture that turns the night into daylight. This video is looking out over the city that I'm in at the time. It's way over a thousand yards right now. But this is completely dark out using the AI technology. That house is about 500 yards. And it's going to pan down to these trees which are at 200 yards. Any animal would stand out clearly. This is nighttime once again. Trailers sitting at about 200 yards as well and looking over the town Which this is just producing a crisp clear image This is some long distance here. You won't be shooting that far. So those 200 yard shots are a little easy. Here's a daylight video of me shooting a starling just amazing quality and as you can see I take the shot there I mean, it's like my DSLR camera. Hey guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I cannot stress enough the main feature that makes this scope unique is the high resolution and quality of the video at night producing colored images. It's first of its kind. There's, I can't think of any scopes on the market right now with that feature and most are using IR lights right now, which this scope 
it, it's adaptive to IR light, so you could use an IR light, but I really enjoy this colored feature, and that's what makes it unique. The benefits of this is people can see IR lights emitted from your scope with their night vision. This scope's not emitting any kind of light. So, that being said, you're about as stealth as can be, which people are pretty much the only other things that can see your IR light. And also, some states require spotlighting permits to be used with thermals and IR lights because they produce um, unnatural light. This one, you wouldn't need that because you're not producing any kind of light. It's just being processed inside the scope and that's giving you the image you see. If you have any questions, comment below, like, subscribe, um, check the description. I'll post the website link. You can read more into it. Um, check my Instagram. I'll be posting about this product on there and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me for more footage of this scope. I will be producing hunts. I'm going to do pigeon hunts, varmint hunts, coyote hunts. I'm going to eventually put this on my rifle for coyotes. And last thing before I go, this hat here, cut them waterfowl if you're interested in their apparel. Check them out on Instagram or Google their website. They're putting out some of the best hats right now for the best prices. Love the guy. He's a good guy. He He's honestly best customer service I've dealt with. And I think he's looking for ambassadors still to promote his brand. That is all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.